The next thing you want to do is create a banner, which is going to go in this area here at the top. Now we know that the, the banner must be uh, the full width of the page. And no, we know that the full width of the page is 1024. They can't go any longer than that. So the width is all sorted for us. It's been given to us. However, we don't know the height. And that's really down to us. It's up to us to decide how tall, how, what kind of height we want for the banner. Um, but this is where this table is going to give us a hand. Now, with the ruler on this side, for my design, you can see that it's about 200 pixels in terms of height here. Yeah? It stops just before the 200 mark, but I'm gonna decide about 200, 200 just to keep it nice and even. And we're doing this on Adobe Photoshop. But before I do that, I need to know what I need to have in this banner. So it says here, a banner including a suitable image. So it doesn't say which image they want, so I have to decide that. Bear in mind that some of the images in the assets folder, in the, in the images folder to be more specific, will not be suitable. So it's down to you to decide what is. If they were all suitable, they won't need to, they shouldn't need to tell you to pick something that's suitable. Uh, this implies that there might be some that are not. They want the shop logo in there. Um, they want the logo after it's been created to have a link to this website here, this, uh, this uh, hyperlink. And then we'll talk about the navigation bar. So let's go back over here. So it's going to be a rectangular shape. We know it's going to be 1024 in terms of the width. And I said about 200 pixels by height. So I'm going to go, go and open Adobe Photoshop here. It's already ready for me. I'm going to go to file and create a new uh, page. And we're going to call this banner. And make sure that this here says pixels. People have in, in the past forgot to change this. So when they typed in, when this by default is centimeters, when they typed in 1024, that's a really, really large banner. So you have to, so if I keep that there as it is and change it to pixels now, watch how the number jumps up. Yep, 29,000 pixels. That's far too large. So make sure it's pixels here first, and then you put the numbers. So 1024, and the height for me is 200. Now, make sure it's RGB in colour, because otherwise you're not going to see any colour show up. And the background can stay white for now. And I'm okay with that, and press OK. Once that is done, you can have the shape that you uh, basically require for your banner. You're going to unlock the padlock here, just press there, and just uh, click, uh, let's type this as a background for the name for this layer, press OK. And the two main things that they need is a logo, which is provided to you, and a suitable image. So, best way to do that is just to go to File, Open, and find that folder. So, I'm going to go into my uh, folder. And, obviously, you'll have to do the same thing. So, you go to your exam folder, go to your assets, and as you know, your images are here. And pick an image that you think is suitable. Now, I tend to, work, I try to keep it simple. First of all, you know, you've got your logo there. It says logo, so you can't really mix that up. Icon is an, is not the images that I would think are suitable for here. Because if you read the paper, and this is why reading it is so important, you'll know that the icons are reserved for the navigation bar. So we're not going to use any of the icons. We're not going to use any of the records because that's going to be used later on for the music section. We're not going to use shop fronts because again, if you read the paper, you'll know that's going to be used later. We know we can't use a t-shirt. We know we can't use a fly because they're reserved for other sections of the exam. Um, so, and the DJs are separate as well for the area. So you've got all these other images here that you could use if you want to. I'm going to go for this one here, purely because I'm thinking it's a white background here, and this image has a white background as well. This picture has a face with someone listening to what looks like listening to music. They've got a set of headphones, so we can assume that. But it's chopped up at the top and on the side and on the bottom. So this will be perfect to put over here on this side. So I'm going to open this. It's going to come up, and you'll see that it's on a separate section at the top, a different tab. Now, to select this, you could just use the Control and A um, buttons on your keyboard or you can go to select and go to all and there it is click on the black arrow here on the left hand side click and hold and drag into this uh, tab here and then basically let go and you'll see that it's very very large uh, but it's a decent quality image so we can basically drag it in now to do that uh, we can go to here edit down to transform um, and 
no sorry, just above it, free transform. Notice that the shortcut for that is Control and T. So either Control and T on your keyboard or click on this uh, selection here, this option here. Now when you do that, you'll see that it is very, very large. So what I'm going to do, just so I can see it better, is I'm going to drag this down, find the corner here on the top left hand side. I'm going to hold on Shift because I don't want the ratio, the, com uh, the, um, the proportions to change and drag it in. Now I'm going to move it to about here so I can see the corner, let go of the shift and then drag it back up again. Hold the shift again, drag the corner, keep doing that until you're happy with the size of the image. Now if I leave it there, there's a hell of a lot of space. So it's really up to you how you want to work with this. You could have it larger and move it in a little bit. But as long as the proportions seem right, it should be fine. Now I'm going to leave it about there. To finalize that, you press enter on your keyboard and then it puts it in. It looks blank, so we're going to use this space here for the logo. So we're going to go back to file, open, find the logo this time. Now note how I don't have to find this folder again because it remembers the last place I was. And find the logo image, there it is and press open and again it's going to open a separate page you click on the select and all to make sure it's all selected then you use the black arrow again click and hold drag it into your banner and throw it in there and then move it until you're happy with where it is now you could just leave it here you could leave it over here it's up to you what I wouldn't do is just throw it here or on top of him okay just because it's hard to see the logo now. So I'm going to put it around here with a little bit of margin. Don't have it right to the edge. It doesn't look as professional. Don't have it right to the corner here. Again, it doesn't look as professional. Imagine having a little bit of gap onto the top and on the left hand side. Try to make it as equal as you can. So can you see how this gap here at the top here, if you look at the start with the dot of the I it starts here and the I on the left hand side. So have a bit of a margin here. Uh, but then this says this spot, spot here, the bottom of the logo is a little bit uh, larger than the top and the middle, uh, the left. So I'm going to drag this down and just move, play around with it until you have a decent um, space. So it looks a little bit more um, pleasant on the eyes. Now we've got a bit of space here. Now you could, if you want to, just make the size of this logo larger. So I can show you that now. So remember, Control and T is a shortcut to make it larger. Uh, the T free transform, or you could just go to edit and go to free transform and then you're going to use the the shift button again if you hold the shift like I said it keeps the proportions let me show you the difference if I don't hold the shift so I'm gonna can you see that so it squashes it and you don't want that you will lose marks so I'm gonna undo that undo is control and Z hold on the shift I uh, the button shift button and then drag it out now you could put it so that it fills the space nice and neatly about there. And that's it. Now you could do that or you could be, uh, you know, a bit more smart and be clever about it and maybe make up your own uh, slogan and throw it here in the middle. So what, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to undo all that and leave it where it was before. So I'm going to go to edit. Oh, one second. I have to enter and undo. Step forward again. That's what, that was the original image size. So I'm going to leave it about here for now. I can move it later if I want to. And I'm going to use a T icon here to basically throw in some text in the center. So it's taking a bit of time to log on. There is a uh, to set show, but you can see the cursor's changed now. So I'm going to drag in a little bit of a text box here, which I'm sure you've used before. And I'm going to type in something cheesy. The cheesier it is, the better it is. So since there's a music store, I'm going to say, uh, something like now that's music to your ears um, I'm going to select it change the size make it a little bit larger and I don't like the font so I'm going to find something a little, as close to this as possible um, so perhaps looking at the top here, simple aerial font and using the black arrow 
center it here and to just bring some color in what might be good is if I use this here and use a picker and choose the same color as that it throws in that color into my text so that just makes it a little bit um, more professional it looks a bit more um, um, more unique and makes it stand out a little bit more uh, if you need to change any of these all you gotta do is select the right layer um, if I want to I can change this and I can just type in the word logo so that's the logo um, layer and that's the the uh, image so you can see the difference so you can see that says that's the slogan that's the logo that's the image so if I click on the logo I can then move it to where I want to so if I don't believe there's enough space I could do that but because I want it to be centered perhaps I could control T make this a little bit larger hold it on shift push the center press enter there we go and then click on the text move it in here and there you go okay so once you're happy with it we want to save it so you go to file save as and we're going to put it into our assets folder make sure we are in our images banner yes we're going to keep this as PST for now in case we need to make changes to it you never know and then I also need to save as now remember in the paper just before I carry on any further it tells you actually I don't want to save as I'm going to go back to that in a second it tells you that they want all images to be a PNG and no more, so less than, sorry, less than 450. So if it's 450, 440, 430, all good. Just can't go over that number there. So go back to this. I'm going to go to File, and it's Save for Web and Devices. If we go to this tool here, this option allows you to change the format. So first things first, you always make sure it says PNG 8, and you'll find that the number here, can you see, 37.4 kilobytes way under the uh, the amount that they expect for you to have once you've done that uh, we're going to press save and we're going to go into the folder so because this is a different section it's not save I do need to find my folder again go to cider which is uh, my folder you will find yours um, go into your exam go to assets go to images and we're going to call this a banner PNG is fine press save and that is that. So I'm going to push this down now, and we're going to put the banner in here. So the banner needs to be inserted. So you go to Insert, Image. Now, because the banner doesn't need to change to anything, we're not going to make this a special kind of image where it rolls over, because that's not what the examiner has asked, asked us to do. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to go over to Normal Image here, and we're going to find that image, that banner that we just created. So you can see the banner here make sure that this is the correct one and yes it is can you see it says PNG here and it's 39 kilobytes which is well within the time the the uh, the allowance that uh, we, that we uh, has been given press OK and alternate text now just to keep this in mind anytime you see anything like this there's two things we need to do for this one mark here um, where is it gone it is talking about accessibility features there it is accessibility features for people who ha may have visual uh, impairments so users who are visually impaired and there's two things we need to do for that one is to use the alternate text tool here so anytime you insert anything anytime you see that use it type something very simple in and I'll show you how to do that for this and the second way to do that is basically um, making sure that the website is easy to see so decent sized fonts fonts that are easy to read not something that's funky or, or blurred or curvy um, that looks like handwriting basically and uh, having decent sizes for your images and using color schemes that one not only are easy on the eyes that give good contrast which you'll have to talk about in your evaluation but also uh, images colors that uh, match the logo uh, because then it looks professional and it's consistent so here because there's a banner we're just going to put the word banner image with company logo and slogan actually keep it simple yeah keep it short company logo yeah you can say slogan if you want to but i'm going to keep it short for now and then press ok so we go straight into it however there's a bit of a gap now 
and we said we want to keep it inside the 200 mark and you see it goes up to 200 here yeah um, we're gonna drag this up then push this back up oops sorry I just realized something that is not the actual space that is the navigation bar which is perfect so it's inside the time space that we wanted so let's have a little test let's have a look at uh, how it is see how it looks on chrome preview do you want to save it yes we do and when it opens up we're going to basically put it on full screen so f11 and again see just make sure that it is inside the page can you see i'm not i don't need to scroll that's the top of the page that's the bottom of the page that fits in perfectly okay so this here what i've just done there is known as testing it so you don't need to evidence the testing it's something that you're going to do hopefully instinctively as you go through each section and that's how you put in the banner